In today's show, we're going to talk about making a Power Apps weekly calendar view. So in the big video this week, we did the monthly view of the calendar and immediately I got the comment of, I want to see how to do that in a weekly mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that monthly one and we're going to quickly massage it to be a weekly view. But first, here's our intro. Hi, my name is Shane Young with Power Apps 911. Those guys. And today, we're going to talk about making a weekly view calendar in Power Apps. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a couple of galleries, but instead of stacking them out and making them do all the logic to show a whole month and all the days around that month, what we're going to do is just make it a nice quick seven day view. So shouldn't be too complicated. Let's just switch over to my desktop and take a look. Over here on my desk, you can see the pretty version of it, right? I was kind of messing around earlier, but you know, we've got a nice week view. And the idea is you want to see more, right? You want more room in here for events, which we haven't talked about. That's coming up Monday. So if you haven't subscribed, you should subscribe. But either way, uh, you know, this just kind of flips through and just flips one week at a time. And we just move back through here kind of the way you would expect. So nothing too complicated. And if you understood all the intricacies of how the monthly calendar worked, this should be a real quick learn. If you haven't, Right, remember, here's the monthly one, just in case you don't remember what that one was. So we did this monthly one on Monday's video. I'll put a link somewhere on the screen to that if you want to do it. Or you can download this working app with both of these so you can just steal them, right? You just go over to the training.powerapps911 and click on the uh, curated library. All right, so to that end, let's go over here. And so on the Monday video, we built this, right? We went through all the pain of connecting the galleries, doing all the date math logic, and making it work. But so I want to turn this into just a weekly view for you guys. To do that, what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate this screen. So that way you're literally caught up with me, right? Like I'm not, didn't pre-do anything. I mean, I practiced, but you know, I didn't pre-do anything that you wouldn't see. And so now what I want to do, the first thing I'm going to do up here at the top is I'm just going to say, hey, items. Remember we did all this crazy logic and I found out there's a slight bug here for a 28 day month that starts exactly on the first, but We'll talk about that later, don't worry about it. But so what we're gonna do is instead of having to figure out whether we should show 35, right? So if we should show five weeks or six weeks here, we just wanna show one. So we're just gonna hard code this not to a seven though. We're gonna do sequence and then a seven. So then that's going to get us just the seven days. Now, we're also going to have to go over here. And so I'm gonna find my gallery, I'm gonna hit the edit pencil here. And because before, right, we had all those rows, so we made all that room. So I'm just going to pull this to kind of be the full length. So that way I get to take up a bunch of space. And then once I'm like, yeah, that feels about right. I'm also for my gallery going to say, hey, you, right, because that just changed the template height. So now the template size is 578. because That's what I pulled it to. Uh, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, I want to set the height of this thing to just be the template size. So I'm just going to say self. So my own control dot template height. And so then that way the gallery is that high, right? Because we're not going to have multiple rows. We don't need any scrolling. We just want to have this kind of be um, that size. Cool. So that gets our pieces here. Now you might want the little sides going up the side, right? So what we do, we'll throw over here a um, rectangle. Where is my rectangle? Way over here. There it is. Oh, oh. We want the rectangle inside the gallery. So let's click on the gallery again. And let's see if the second time I'm smart enough to put a rectangle in. You know, it happens. There we go. And so then remember with your rectangles, what do you want to do? So we're going to say, hey, I want your width to be a one. And then I want your height. I'm going to actually just write a formula for that. So we're going to say height just be parent dot height. All right. And then I'm going to say for your, um, your X property, so I want you to start at the top, so be zero. And then uh, last but not least, for, or no, that's your, your X is your left and right. Sorry, your Y property, I want you to start at the top. So that one be zero. Ooh. Your X is going to be your parent's width. Oh, not parent. So parent width minus uh, one. Now that puts it way over there because its parent is actually the gallery. So we want it actually not to be the parent. We want it to be the uh, gallery name. So gal month view underscore two. So that's the name of our gallery. And we want it to be uh, its template width minus one. So there you go. So now you've got those cute little dividers going on between the days. Okay. 
So you're like, all right, Shane, that was easy. I know, I wanna do the easy stuff first. So then now what we need to do is we need to figure out how, what day to show, right? So in the previous one we were showing for the whole month, we had to calculate the first day of the month, but we don't want the first day of the month anymore, right? What do we want? We want the first day of the week. So we're just gonna wipe out all this and we're just gonna say, how about this? Set var first week. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, hey, I want today minus weekday of today. And so then that, if we set this, so let's press the button, what is that gonna give me? That is going to say 320. And if I look at a calendar real quick, right, today's uh, the 24th, the first day is the 21st, which is perfect, right? Because we know that the way the math's gonna work, we're gonna have to add one to that. So this is actually giving me the last day of the previous week, right? So that's giving me the Saturday date because we wanna start by showing Sunday. So up here at the top, I'm gonna say, hey, your text, instead of var first day in the view, I want you to be var um, first day week, or first week. And so look at that, 320, right? Because the 320 was the Saturday, but we're adding, we're using date add, we're adding one day to that. So that gives us the Sunday date, which is the 21st. And if I look at the calendar, that is absolutely the Sunday of this week. And look at that. Now we've got 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th. Perfect. Um, up here then what we're going to do, so that is the formula that you use to get your starting point, right? So that is the, the first day. And you know, it really bothers me I did fifth, so I was gonna change that to be first. And now this is broken, so let's go rename this, var first. Perfect. Now what we wanna do is over here, we need to add to that. So if they wanna move forward a week, what are we gonna do? We're gonna say set var first week, and it's going to be um, date add, right? We wanna to add to that. And there's not an add for um, day or weeks, so we have to add seven days. So we're just gonna say take whatever was currently in var first week and add seven days to it, like that. And so then now if we press the button, let's see, that looks right to me. So let's start here, start with the 21st. If we add, we go to the 28th, we add again, we go into April, perfect. That works for adding a week, we'll copy that. If we want to subtract, what do we do? We'll get rid of all this old code and we'll just say subtract seven days. Awesome, possum. So then now we should be able to back our way into it. Now up here you'll notice, right, the color coding carried through. So that was just on this label, we had a fill property, which basically just said, hey, if this thing is equal to today, make it red. If not, make all the rest of them white. So that was really, you know, that already worked. We didn't have to make any changes there, but now we've got this beautiful week view of our calendars without, without too much huffle puffle, right? Um, yeah, so remember on the video coming on Monday, so like four days from today, oh, I need to get busy on recording that one. Um, what we're going to do on that one is we're gonna finally talk about how to pull in our SharePoint list data into this data set so we can do it. Um, the only other thing just to mention, so like up here when we did um, this one, you remember like we had, I talked about how I made these a, a grayed out um, color, so when it was, you know, the other month, so on the first, you know, kind of did that. Um, what I would want you to do here is when I made the weekly view, I just had to change the fill. I said, hey, if it's today, make it white, and if not, make it purple. So that was how I changed that one to make it work a little bit better for us. Um, right, if we just jump out a week, you'll see it's white. So just make sure you make that other little change. But other than that, taking the monthly calendar, turning it into the weekly calendar, not, not too bad. Um, if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Ideas, you guys have had a lot of ideas, a lot of thoughts about these date calendars stuff, so I wanna make sure that I get that incorporated into future videos. So leave those comments, remind me what you wanna see. And if you wanna download this, just go to training.powerapps911.com and grab it. Cool, all right, with that, I'm gonna say thanks and have a great day. Before you go, be sure to click on the subscribe button over here so that way you'll be notified when new videos come out. 
If you need any help or you want to work together, whether your problem is big or small, check us out at Power Apps 911. We do it all. I rhymed. Or if you're looking for more formal training offerings, we have those linked up here somewhere. So check them out. Thanks and have a great day.